Standard humanoid robots mimic the human form, but the mechanisms used in such robots are very different from those in humans, and the characteristics of the robot reflect this. The concept of anthropomimetic robots, such as Eke, will compensate these drawbacks by not just replicating the appearance of a human, but duplicating the inner structures and mechanisms of humans, bones, joints, muscles, and tendons. Instead of using high-precision actuators and stiff components as in typical humanoid robots, ECA uses compliant materials and cheap, mass-produced actuators. Particularly noteworthy is the thermoplastic polymorph, the material used for ECA's bones. As you can see, polymorph can easily be hand-molded at a temperature of only 60 degrees Celsius, and it has a distinctly bone-like appearance when cold. It can be reheated and molded as many times as necessary. With its compliant, human-like hand, Eke can easily grasp and handle objects. Furthermore, as demonstrated in this handshake, Eke is able to interact with humans and with its environment in an inherently safe way. Even though the advantages of the anthropomimetic design are readily apparent, there are still challenges in controlling the robot. As you can see, even simple movements like lifting an arm requires the actuation of various muscles. However, the advantages of the design prevail, and we are very confident that once the control problem is solved, ECA will propel the concepts of embodiment and will pave the way for a new era in robotics.